Hey guys, welcome back for another Drag Week 2021 video. This is the second and final Drag Week video for this year, and then um, we'll go straight into Race Week right after that. So uh, this one's pretty cool, day three, four, and five. And on the fifth day, there was an unfortunate event, not, not that happened to us, but unfortunate event, you'll see what it's about. And uh, it actually led to a fortunate outcome for us, which was that we placed third in the unlimited class. So spoiler alert, but check it out. on anything today all day because today's been busy but ran a 772 got the 60 foot down to a 125 still not that sub 750 that we want to see but we're making progress and that's the main thing you're getting the data that you want getting lots of data but for now we are on the road um not early not late not early helping joe find some gear oil things like that diddling well, around we had lots of things to do too it wasn't just joe oh no same we were able to do that stuck around um got our stuff loaded but we're having a fine dinner on the back of the 55. hey you're supposed to use the wing huh? oh yeah it's a picnic table it works that's better
point number two in the semi-daylight, which is kind of nice. Um, it's a cool little gas station. This is a nice little corner. So there's a old, I think it says old 66 family restaurant over there. It's like a Route 66 restaurant. And this is a little Texaco gas station. They were closed, but they opened up. Dad's inside, so I'm going to go check it out. And then um, just met these awesome people right here. It's his birthday. They've been waiting up. They've been on the corner. It says a cool corner all day. This is really neat. So um, I'm going to go in and check this out. I love these kind of checkpoints where you actually get to see something super neat. <laughs> we gotta get in the fire truck. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you really do have that. Put the hat on. Oh, yeah. It's already recording. I asked oh, yeah. if I could take a video, and they said I can get okay, the fire yeah, truck. Yeah, so go in the fire truck. Get in there and get a picture. You can ring the bell. Yeah, I can ring the bell once. <laughs> It'll pretty cool here. You can ring the bell on the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Where is that bell? On the, I go on your left, push it ahead hard. Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and you guys are going about 14 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my way. I'd be at 14 miles an hour. <laughs> hey, we need to add one of these to the 55 going down the track. I'm just going yeah. <laughs> go down the track. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that. This is the original fire truck from this area. Yeah, this was a fire truck. First, the motorized fire truck. Motorized fire truck, right. Oh, time to get the motorized fire truck. This is neat. They had people here from Russia. Oh, no way. She said people come here from all over the world because this is the mother road. This is Route 66 out here. How many? 37 cents a day. Can you imagine? No, we don't. Sign me up. Yeah, all day long. <laughs> what? Well, and you made eight cents an hour. <laughs> yeah, we got a message about the flaws of logs. We got a power tool. The village clerk called me and said, power tool coming through. And she says, I don't know what that is, but they're going to have 300 plus cars coming through. <laughs> Get ready for a busy afternoon. Like, a lot of black cars. I got to get back. I got to get back. That was cool. That was awesome. Oh, you can keep your fire hat. Hey, uh, can we do me a favor? Most guys don't have enough uh, room in their car oh, for I'm, a fire I'm, I'm making room. I, I, <laughs> that's kind of quiet. They're going to have to turn the volume up for that. Here, go hang your beard out that. Let's see your beard hanging out. Back then, you would have been dirty. You, would, you had too much beard. Oh, you look like an Amish gas station attendant. <laughs> that's cool. You want to get in there? Nah. <laughs> so neat. This was my favorite checkpoint so far this year. Probably actually more so than this year. This is a cool checkpoint. And these people are awesome. And they gave me this fire truck hat and I am wearing it in the 55. It is going with me. It's my good luck charm now. So I think we're going to have a nice break here and then we're going to hit the road and um, get this dude to the hotel. We are at checkpoint, or not checkpoint, dummy. We're at a gas station. Got some other drag weekers here. Um, we have not seen very many people this trip, so I like seeing other people. It's always fun. That's what makes it interesting. So um, I'm going to run in and get a bottle of water. We're fueled up, and we are going to keep on trucking. Because right now, we're bleh, almost died. Right now, we are making good time. That's nice. I'm always hesitant to say that. This, you guys know what this looks like, right? Two lane. We actually passed, um, and they were waving. We're like, oh, we gotta go turn around. So, look at this row of tri fires right here. It's pretty cool. This is a replica car, and it's very, very, very close. The guy that actually built the original two lane car is building this man right here a new car. I didn't hear the full stories yet, but pretty neat. It's really, really closely accurate. Always at the wrong time. Yeah. That's cool. You need, did you have Richard stand over there, timing light or looking at it? I had to him. Recreate the picture. I had him, the the plate, the car he's building me, I had a plate Rick, uh, Ruth built. And I got him holding the picture, stand over there. Oh, that's and awesome. He's got the t shirt that he wore 50 years ago <laughs> in the movie. How cool. That's is that? awesome. Man, that's perfect. I, try, I tried to get a hold of you. Watch the TV. <laughs> I 
feel like this is like TV in school. Yeah. Check this car out too, this little angling. With the Camaro and uh, the parts fall off. She I, came oh, through yeah, yeah. way before he did. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he finally got an 850 out of it. I don't know. I haven't got to watch anybody today. It I've been was, was so course. busy. This is a cool car too. What a neat little town. Check this out. That's awesome. That's cool though. I love that. We are in the lanes for round one. I don't know why I call it round. We're in the lanes for past one. And uh, so they're running all of, I messed it up because when I started, this was always Daily Driver, this class was, and I it's not now. I think it's Street Machine Eliminator. But it'll always be Daily Driver to me. That's what I started it uh, in 2013. So all these cars are in the lanes, and then we're in this lane. They're gonna run all these out because it's their class time. But because of where we're parked, it's kind of hard to get out. So we wanted to make sure we were like up here, so we weren't making a 25 point turn. But I'm I'm fighting Freiburger right now on who can be louder. <laughs> Question. What happens when you forgot to turn forget to turn the CO2 bottle on on the drag strip? Nothing. Exactly. Nothing happens. You don't go anywhere. Did you forget that? Well I was just editing it and I just was reminded that you forgot to turn the CO2 bottle on. Who reminded you? <laughs> the video did. Oh um Well I was kind of distracted, okay? So I made a mistake. So sue me. So I actually the the one that's worse than that is where I forgot to turn your parachute on. You had a couple. <laughs> but it's like I'm the chief, the cook, and the bottle washer. I have to do everything. You just sit in there and drive. That's not true. Though. I have to do everything. So I'm gonna make like a checklist on my hand next time. I'm tattooed on your hand. I'm a little bit nervous about. It. I mean, I can't get distracted by people. That's what happened. Okay. But it'll oh. be better. <laughs> This is pretty funny. So I don't think I've done an update today, but just did my fastest pass ever, 7.63 at 185. Um, I got a little nervous on that last pass because after we went, um, I came back and it sounded like it was missing. I was concerned it was valve train. Very paranoid still. But uh, we've checked pretty much everything we can easily check. Plugs and ran through the valves and all of that. Turned the motor over and nothing seems to be wrong. So hopefully if anything is maybe a foul plug. Worst case, there a coil. I don't know. But uh, luckily, 163 with a 6 at 185. I know we still got a long ways to go to see the 6s, but any progress is good progress. And really, it would be kind of boring if um, we just ran right into the 6s. But this is funny. So you have to have your pictures to turn in your time slip so you get the route up to make sure that you're on the drive and people forget. Do you have your pictures and phone? Time slips at top of tower. <laughs> That's funny. Very dragly. <laughs> when that started. I think you got a leak there. Don't care? Thanks, thanks. Huh.
stylish. I was taking a picture of them and that literally just started overflowing right there and it was pretty funny. Okay, hang on, Joey. Picture time. It is day five. We have survived. Yesterday was a little bit iffy after that pass because I thought that I had hurt something. I definitely thought that we had a hurt motor, but turns out it was nothing at all, which is good news. It was just, I think, a fouled plug, so didn't find anything but we are about to hit the road to the track which is about 30 miles from here we have a later start today so the track didn't even open until 9 versus 7 running this starts at 10 versus 8 and we also reverse order today so the class on unlimited cars go second and the daily drivers i always mess up everything is going to be daily driver to me i can't remember that new class name yeah, I, don't know street, I think it's Street Machine Eliminator, but yeah, it's so. Daily Driver. <laughs> I failed you guys on updates on Friday, and I hate to keep saying that in these, these, these race week videos, but I have to explain what happened on Friday. It was very intense. So um, the, the next clip you will see is from my one and only pass that we did on the last day of drag week. Um, all through the week, we didn't think we would have a chance. That was fine because we had a new car. We were just happy to make it through the week. And um, I just like didn't even think about it. But I knew I was in fourth place. We just wanted to get one pass in, get done, and get out so we could head to head home so we could go to race week 2.0. Um, and that, that was like a 24-hour turnaround. You guys, will, you guys will see all that. But we are sitting in line and we were, I, I don't remember, our line was moving. And at the front of the line, I believe it was like Schroeder ends. And then um, you had a lot of the fast guys. You had Brian Goldstone and his Javelin. And you had all those fast guys up there. And then like Jackie Stanky was in our line. And then I, I'm blanking, but there was a guy that had a 55 Chevy as well. And so like we're moving, I'm suiting up. Like I'm, I'm getting ready, I'm strapping in. Like we had a, you know, an easy morning. Like we're in the lanes. All we have to do is make one more pass and we're done with drag week. And you have to remember that nothing is done until it's done kind of thing. Like stuff could change up to the last minute, but you forget that. I don't remember what place Brian Goldstone was in, but whatever the case was, he was in one of the top three in Unlimited and overall actually. And he, is up there and he makes this pass and no one heard this i didn't hear this i'm in the lanes and it was just like this silence that just came over and it was very weird um but somebody goes bryant just he just wrecked it's like what like nobody heard a wreck like where did where did he wreck like i didn't hear a wreck and so like everybody's just like kind of like we just heard you wreck so people are pulling up the live feed and he made a pass and he wrecked right before the finish line he didn't cross the finish line so he didn't even have a time slip to turn in that day, which is bad. That is like just the worst situation at all. Like I would consider them a friend, they're good people. Like you don't ever wish that on anybody, it's like no one. And then like, not only is it dangerous for that person, like it's scary in that sense, but it's also like, you know, cars, I think once you have a car and you're attached to a car, it's very sentimental. And he's had that car for a long time. So like, I just feel bad for him on a lot of levels there. And so like, we're all trying to figure out what happened. And so there was a long downtime because the car was, there was just stuff everywhere. And so like we walked out, we're looking and doing all this. Well, it occurred to me sometime in the middle, I was like, if I make a pass, granted stuff has to go right. If I make a pass, he doesn't have time slip to turn in. Like it'll move me up to third as long as my pass is decent. We'll get one and done. That's all we got that day. But I was like, you know what? That's like really cool. Cause I've never placed at drag week ever in any class but i was like i have really mixed emotions on that like do if i was to make that pass and it was successful and i did move up to third place in unlimited does it count does it count is it still worthy of celebrating like the only reason i'm in third is due to somebody else's unfortunate look like does it count and so i didn't really video this day because like i was really having mixed emotions about knowing if that was okay like I don't know, like I'm asking people, I'm like, do I still get to like be happy that I placed even though it cost, it came at someone else's expenses? And like the, the, the part that people kept telling me, they're like, it's awful and it's unfortunate and it's very bad, but things happen 
And that's like you always like the way anybody wins a race is due to somebody else's unfortunate like circumstances. Hopefully it's not a wreck. Hopefully it's just an off day for them. But you know, that is what it is. But I had never placed in anything. So like I had some like emotions. I'm like, well, this is really cool to have the chance to do that. But it's also very nerve wracking. I also feel very bad for him. So like, yeah, I don't know. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know how to process it. So I kind of just like was focused on getting my car down the track at that point. Cause like after somebody crashes ahead of you, that's very nerve wracking. Well, that's not where it ends. The line starts moving again after a long time, after they get everything cleaned up. And there's not a lot of cars in this line. And I suited up. Somebody comes up and tells me like 55 just wrecked. And I, I apologize, but I don't, I don't remember the, the guy's name. Um, I don't think I ever heard it. Um, but he, you're like, he just wrecked. And I'm like, okay, that's two cars in like 30 minutes. It's okay. So I'm like getting a little more nervous, you know, like I'm a little nerd, a little wracking. So I'm like, okay. So whatever, they get that cleaned up. We get closer. We're to the point that I am pulling in the burnout box. And I'm getting ready to do my burnout, you know, once people are cleared and off the track. And I look up and I see Jackie Stanky and she crashes. She wrecks. So that's three cars now, back to back to back. They were all in the other lane. But I'm like, I was like, why are we still running? Like I asked dad, I was like, why are we still running? Like if there's this many wrecks, what is it? Like, is there something on the track? Is there this? I don't think it was. I think it ended up being a very freak, like coincidence, but I'm like, man like this is nerve wracking dad was like i'm not worried about it because they're in the right lane you're gonna be in the left lane i'm like okay <sighs> i'm nervous <laughs> you know or something in my car and i was just like this is the longest cleanup ever so i'm sitting here and i'm waiting and i'm waiting and i'm like you know nerves are high and it's like everybody i look at like people are coming up to me and they're like be safe be careful don't do anything stupid. Like people are like, you know, I can tell they're nervous, which makes me more nervous. And I'm like, okay. And so like in my mind, I'm like, if there is something on the top end, like I don't want to hit the brakes hard. Like I just got to get the car shut down. Like I want to pull the chutes coast and then get on the brakes lightly. And, and you know, just, that's how that's like, I'm running through my process. I know what I'm going to do. So at this point I'm in the burnout box waiting. And I know that I have to make one pass and one decent pass will put me in third. So Okay, so after they get her cleaned up, I back, back up, do my burnout, pull forward, um, and like in that moment, like it was fine, everything was fine, I'm like on the track, I gotta focus now, and I made my pass, and I launched, and it was a clean launch, and it was a one, two, three shift, and it, that all felt good, and so I'm like, I'm on the ride, like this feels good, this pass is good, this is it, all I have to do now is like get the car shut down, and we'll be safe, we'll be done with drag week. Uh, long story short, it's actually a pretty long story, I haven't made it that short, but um, on that like shutdown, was just like calm, I was like, okay, we're done, and um, I rolled my shoots up and came back, and like it hit me, I was like, I am in third place. But then I, like I said, like I didn't even celebrate it because I was like, there's too many things that could happen and I don't know if I get to. So it didn't really like, I didn't really smile about the whole situation until awards, which you'll see after this pass. So I'm very sorry that this had to be done through story time and not real live events. And like I've said, I'm really trying to fix that for next year and I have plans and intentions to do that. It's just on stuff like that, sometimes other things like people, matter more and you don't get to video. So, okay, enjoy the very last pass of Drag Week 2021. Okay, we are here for awards. 
bit of a busy day. But everybody's here. And it's gonna be an exciting time. Event before we go into Spirit of Drag Week. So in unlimited, a third place finish with an average of 7.71 .7 seconds. Yes, it's Alex Taylor. <laughs> All right, Team Iski representing in two different places in the unlimited category. Shutter Ins took first, and we just took third with our brand new build, the 100 Proof 55 Chevy. It was a successful week. We had a great time. Super excited to have such a good week, such a good showing, and then head on to Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0 starting Sunday. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm going to take this home with me and make sure it doesn't have anything bad happen to it.